Hello everyone, welcome to TechTut. Now in this lecture we will learn how to alter an already existing table. Means in the last video we created table, right? So now for us table is already created. Now what we have to do is, I mean there may be a case when the initial definition needs to be changed, right? So let's say for example I want to delete this attribute, okay? or there is a case when this was initially when it was defined it was uh, there was no constraint over it but now I want to add some constraint like not null okay so similar cases may arise and now we need to have a mechanism to change to make a change in already already existing table right so that is alter fine so the first case is that for us let's say for existing table I want to add some other attribute okay so the first case is I want to add new attribute so to add a new attribute what we will do is we will give the following command that is alter table so basically we are altering the existing table right and then we need to spe specify the table name fine then add and this is same as while we entered in creating table right so this is column name data type and constraint fine so this is to add new attribute now next case is then there we have to modify the existing attribute so let's say we want to modify an attribute for employee there is an attribute called uh, salary and I want to modify the salary to be not null initially it was not specified now what I want is salary salary for employee should not be null so how do we add that constraint now if I want to modify existing attribute what I'll do is I'll just change this add to modify okay so the command will be same as it is but instead of this add we will specify modify so it will be alter so as I discussed if I want to modify salary of an employee or uh, if uh, sorry if I want to modify salary attribute and I want it not to be null in any case that is I want to specify a constraint over salary attribute that salary cannot be none okay while this salary attribute is already defined okay this attribute is already created so what we will do we will specify like this that is alter table table name okay employee and modify this is important in case of modification in existing attribute we will use keyword modify so modify salary okay this is the data type and we will specify not null fine so now this table or schema property will be modified and this attribute salary cannot be null now in third case let's say I have an attribute but that was unnecessary and I want to delete it from the existing schema or from the existing table okay then what we will do we will use again the same thing alter table table name then we will say drop okay so instead of here we have used modify we will use drop so let's write it down so we will write alter table table name drop salary fine okay but now here we have a situation here if I mean we can have a case when this salary or this attribute is being referred by some other attribute okay so basically this attribute is being referred by some other attribute in other table okay so in that case what we need to do okay so we have two keywords here one is cascade another word another one is restrict so if we have one is cascade another one is restrict 
okay so as name suggests when i'm deleting a table uh, a attribute which is being referred by some other uh, tables attribute as foreign key then in case if i'm specifying cascade it means we will also delete those attributes which are referring it fine and restrict is that we, while deleting we will check if some attribute is referring it we will not delete it okay so we have two cases and we need to specify how do i want to react if it is being referred by some other attribute okay fine so these are the three cases which may arise now if uh, what we have done till now is we have defined a schema fine and then in this video we have learned that how we can modify schema okay that is how we can add modify or delete some attribute in an in a schema now we may want to delete this schema entirely right that is there may be a case that we want to delete this table fine so what we will do in that case we will write drop table and then table name right very simple so now it will drop this table name fine so let's say for example drop table employee okay so this will drop employee table fine so it was all about this lecture now in next lecture we will learn data manipulation language so hope to see you in the next lecture thanks for watching